So that's a little different. Uh, Pete Perringer's on the phone right now. Pete, what do you have for us? Anything? Thanks for uh, all that information about the uh, warnings and, and so forth. But, yes, uh, I have a talk to – I'm not in Poolsville, but I talked to some folks up there, mm -hmm. as you suggested, that's uh, kind of moved out of the downtown Poolsville, if there is such a thing. And um, uh, certainly uh, not – I'm not – we don't have any reports of any damage or anything just yet. Uh, a few lightning strikes up in the area. We are uh, a few wrecks on Sugarland Road and uh, 28 and so forth, but uh, no reports of any. I think people are still hunkered down, hopefully. Uh, so don't have any uh, real good information. But as far as uh, fire and EMS response, uh, you know, we haven't uh, had too much up activity up in that area just yet. And we got a second confirmed spotter on that same tornado on the ground near Poolsville. They were viewing it to the west from Route 28 and Route 117. Uh, we got a photo of that funnel cloud on the ground. We're going to try and bring that to you on air here shortly. So, Pete, are there games going on at the Soccerplex? Have you gotten word out to them that, hey, this is dangerous, you're under a warning? Uh, yeah, uh, well, our emergency management folks have reached out. They, uh, we have been, you know, obviously hit the social media with the watches and the warnings. Okay. And uh, many, many different platforms. Uh, of course, I'm not there, so I can't confirm, but I do know that there, there was some activity out outdoors in that area. Mm -hmm. And uh, the people I talked to had been actually at the soccer plex, and they had left earlier, and uh, they were hunkered down. But um, – uh, so I assume that that was the case in, in general. So let's hope so. But no reports of any uh, injuries or damage or anything like that just yet. But, okay. you know, this is an active situation right now. Certainly, as you suggested, uh, with a warning, tornado warning, people should take cover now and you know, move to the uh, basement area or interior room, lowest level uh, of a sturdy building, avoid windows. If you're outdoors uh, in a mobile home or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from any of the flying debris. Um, I guess you said you had some reports of uh, debris. Yeah, and, we have reports uh, of debris at 11,000 uh, feet. We haven't had any uh, responses uh, as a result of the storm just yet. Okay. All right, Pete, stay in touch with us. I think things might, I think you might get some reports as, as we go further into this situation. Uh, I want to uh, kind of zoom in here on uh, Reiter Farm Road. This is just to the east of the soccer plex and and also Rifleford Road. Again, I've been mentioning that 117. Caitlin's been mentioning that. I think in this area right now is extremely dangerous. Hopkins Road as well, uh, just south of Germantown. So, yeah, execute your plan into your base, into your room or basement. A lot of you folks do have basements in this in this area. And Topper, this storm just keeps looking stronger and stronger, and it's continuing toward Gaithersburg. I would not be surprised if really any moment now the National Weather Service extends this tornado warning. So I think it's worth zooming back out and yeah. giving the folks out of the warning just to the east a heads up that if you're in Durwood, even parts of Rockville may be included. I think it's going to end up being just to the north of that. But Durwood, Redland, Montgomery Village, Laytonsville, I really think this warning is going to get extended into your area because right now just to the north of Darnstown, there is just as strong as a tornado signature as you can get on radar. Okay, that's that's quite a statement. So this is the current tornado warning until 745. Uh, and it does include uh, Montgomery. Well, just not quite Montgomery Village, but very close and very close to Gaithersburg. And given what Caitlin just told us, we think it's going to be extended uh, a little further east. As a, and notice the lightning. It shows no sign of weakening. And again, lightning is not always a one to one correlation. But generally speaking, if a storm has more frequent lightning, it is getting stronger. It is not uh, weakening at all. So if you're in Germantown or out toward Clopper or G Gaithersburg, Montgomery, please take uh, cover. And we talked about this earlier. If you're not even in the warning out toward Redland, take cover now. Laytonsville, Etchison, take cover now because you're in the path of what's a dangerous storm. I mean, a very dangerous storm. And in this case, we can say a tornadic storm that has put uh, numerous tornadoes down. And remember, they're going to go down and skip back up in the atmosphere and come back down again. It's rare we get one on the ground that stays on the ground for a, a long, a long length of time. So Germantown, yeah, uh, I would take cover. Uh, I'm going to kind of zoom in between Germantown, the soccer plex and Clopper there. So that's around 119 uh, right in this area, uh, old Germantown and it was Styria Drive. I mentioned that a couple times. I'm kind of concerned about that. Dawson Far Farm Road uh, as well, and also a Reichter Farm Road. Uh, it's, it's just east of the uh, of the uh, soccer plex. Take cover uh, again. 
have a plan and take cover because this is a dangerous uh, storm that we don't see too often uh, around here. We really don't. I'm going to zoom back out and we'll show you the, 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 the breadth of this storm. This, this uh, became a monster complex of storms. I mean, it really did. It's not quite as strong as it was, but we still have storms up to Mount Airy. But here are the warnings. So this one will expire here shortly in about 60 seconds. That will go away. And then this is what's left of that tornado warning until 745. And then as Caitlin mentioned, it may be extended on the east side of 270. Uh, so Alney, you're in that path as well. Um, even out into, uh, you know, Etchison, uh, Sunshine, you're kind of, boom, there it is. Okay. Now we got a tornado warning until 815 for Montgomery County. So, uh, well done, uh, Caitlin. Um, so we're going to zoom back in here and try to highlight some of the areas. OK, you're you can be ahead of the storm if you're if you're in Redland, uh, take cover immediately. Montgomery Village, you should have taken cover immediately. Gaithersburg immediately out toward Olney. You should go out 97. You should go out one uh, 108. Uh, also uh, take cover and you know not far from Norbeck and not far from the ICC. Uh, I would think about taking cover now. Don't wait for this to get to you because it is a dangerous storm and it has it has history of producing tornadoes. So, you know, we have to really respect this and really take this uh, seriously. This is one of the most serious storms we've seen in in, in, a, in a few years. Um, so there's Gaithersburg, there's Clopper, there's Germantown. You're in the uh, warning right now, but then we have a larger warning out here east of uh, I-270. And it's just kind of on the edge of uh, 200. So if you know anybody maybe uses the ICC, maybe they come down from Baltimore, jump on the ICC and come into Montgomery County. If you can tell them not to, not to leave the office because yeah, this is um, yeah, one heck of a storm. It really is. I'm going to zoom in and I think, well, Caitlin, you tell me, you see a couple anywhere between Clopper and Gaithersburg around 124. Uh, Topper, right now it is just between Germantown and North Potomac, directly in between the two towns and the strongest it has looked all evening long. Oh, man. Okay. All right, let me zoom in. All right, there's Germantown. Uh, there's, we've been talking about Wisteria Drive for a lot. There's 355. There's Clopper. Um, yeah, this is, um, I mean, it's, this is about as serious as we get. Uh, no, I can't. Uh, I'm going to go a little further this way. So there's old Germantown. There's Clopper. Uh, so this is Wisteria. So right in this area, we think, and maybe down, even down toward uh, Clopper, we see uh, the potential uh, for some strong winds and, uh, and possibly a, 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 a Richter's Farm Road. Uh, we think right in here could be... Um, the place where you're most likely to see uh, damaging winds and, and, and rotation. So that's, uh, again, warning ghost late 15 from Montgomery County. That's Kitchen House Way, Wheat Ridge Drive. Um, that is between uh, near Clopper, just kind of north of, uh, of Clopper. And again, this is a, a dangerous storm. Cannot emphasize that enough. Yeah. Seeing debris being lofted on radar already. That speaks to the magnitude of this storm. And the National Weather Service just said they opted to issue a new warning instead of extending it to set people's phones off again. People need right. to be seeking shelter if right. they are in the path of this storm. Okay, that's 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 smart. There's Wisteria, there's Clopper. Um, so we're gonna zoom, but there's Middlebrook. If you're in any of these areas, uh, please um, take cover. This is serious. So this is the extended warning covers the rest of the northern half of Montgomery County, in this case, northeast half of Montgomery County until uh, 815. This will go away at 745 in a few minutes. But still, you know, even even when this goes away, this area, you're going to have it. You're still in the warning. You're in the extended warning. OK, out toward Clopper and Montgomery Village and Gaithersburg. Um, so we're looking at the potential for and when, when we see the radar getting debris in the atmosphere, 8, 10, 10 12,000 feet in the atmosphere. That's a heck of a storm. I mean, it really is. That's tremendous updraft, tremendous updraft and tremendous rotation. So there's Metropolitan Grove, there's Bank Street, and there's West Watkins Mill Road, and there's Clopper. I think right in this area, uh, this is this could be some some rotation here. Certainly a lot of lightning and notice the lightning has increased as the storm has increased. You know, Caitlin's saying it's as strong as she's seen it. Uh, so 
The Clopper and uh, Long Draft Road take cover. Bank Street down 124. Gaithersburg and uh, kind of just I'm going to pan over here. Any of these areas I'm talking about, please uh, take cover. I'm going to go a little further. There's Washington Grove. Uh, there's Diamond Avenue. So that's Washington Grove. That's Shady, Shady Grove Road. And that's... Uh, 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 this is well, that's 124. So we're up near Rio and we're up near uh, off of 355 and 28 and also Seneca Road. So Washington Grove, Metropolitan Grove, I, I would I would take cover. We, we can't really stress, I don't think, the uh, the severity of this uh, enough. And I'm going to go a little further to the east here. So Redland, take cover, you know, uh, 115. It's you may not you're experiencing heavy rain now. You may not be experiencing the, the big winds just yet. So take cover. It's time uh, to do that, especially up near Rio and Diamond Avenue and Gaithersburg. Uh, that's again where it probably is right now. I'm going to keep going out Moncaster Mill. OK, you're under the warning until 815. I'm going to go further out toward 97. That's George Avenue. That's Hines Road and Bowie Mill Road. So you're 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 like looking outside going eh, it's not so bad well yeah you don't have that much in terms of rain or wind yet but you need to take cover okay we're just asking you to take cover for like 45 minutes that's it uh take your phone in the basement move away from the uh uh move away from the windows certainly but i think most of you guys do have basements uh out here uh there's needwood road uh and there's 200 that's that's the icc you're right smack in the uh, warning right now i'm gonna zoom back out to show you how big this warning is this is a pretty big warning. Uh, it covers, you know, most of Montgomery County and it stops on the line right now, Montgomery County. But if you're in Howard County, pay attention too, because we that, that could cross over. Uh, there's 370. Uh, that is where the, the teeth of the storm is right now between 370 here north of Rockville, uh, Sam, Ag Sam, Sam Ag Highway up toward uh, Germantown. Uh, that to me is where I think it's the most serious. Look at all the lightning. And Topper, like. the National Weather Service has once again confirmed that there is a tornado on the ground near Gaithersburg. Near Gaith well, there it is. Yeah, that does not that does not surprise us here. We'll zoom in a little more here. So it's on. I, we told you to stay off of 270. I mean, please stay off of 270. Uh, it could be very close to. Uh, well, it could be close I think to it's Diamond actually, Avenue. I think it's actually just to the west of 270 right now, just to the south of Metropolitan Grove, about to cross into Diamond Avenue. Okay, so a long draft. So Avenue, right at the intersection of 124, yep. Right here and about to cross over. And 117, yep. And, and I mean, that's going right into, into Gaithersburg. So that's, is this Gaithersburg live? In Diamond Avenue. Okay, so they're seeing, they're seeing rain, but the heaviest stuff is yet to come. That's like right there. And Topper, this is a relatively, as you can see, rain wrapped tornado. Right. It is not a, a, you know, funnel cloud like we clearly saw in Leesburg. There's a lot of rain around this, making it yeah. even that much more dangerous. Yeah, and, 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 and maybe even some, some debris. All right, I'm going to zoom in a little more. So we're going to get in tight here. And again, Gaithersburg take cover. Uh, any, anywhere around, you know, Gaithersburg, North Potomac, Research Drive, uh, that area, Sunnyside Court, Cedar Avenue, all these areas, King James Way, Muddy Branch Road, uh, that kind of goes very close to 270. Take cover, uh, please. Uh, this is not one that we're like radar indicated. We know it's produced a tornado, and we know that one is more likely on the ground right now in, in Gaithersburg. There's Muddy Branch Road right there. So here's Gaithersburg. There's 270, there's 355 kind of paralleling 270 uh, and Redland. If you're in Redland, take cover now. It, it's, it's heading your way and stay, get off of 115 uh, in Montgomery Village. If you're anywhere in Montgomery Village, I would take cover uh, at this hour. And, and Olney, I would take cover, even though you're, you're, not, you're under the warning, but you don't see the storm just yet. But they're trying to give you some lead time. Weather service pretty good saying, OK, we know there's a tornado in this storm. We're going to issue it farther east ahead of time so that folks can take the time to cover it. Here's a live picture from uh, Gaithersburg, Diamond, Diamond Avenue. 